You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Oh, I get bit all the time. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Insane uh, Nightmare series where we play this game on Insane Difficulties. I'm sure I'll set the nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, as you can see, um, I am in the uh, the burn biome here, burn for, burnt forest biome. Um, I basically left you guys uh, in this town in the last episode, and then I just kind of followed the road all the way into town here. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're, we're, we're going to continue to look for potatoes and corn and other crops but we might do a little you know while we're at it we might go ahead and just do a little bit of random looting too um so let's see i guess i put my axe in here didn't i yep so let's cheese the the main loots out of here one of the easiest places to actually cheese the loot from Nice. A blue pistol out of that deal. Grab those and working stiff crate. Okay, cool. I was thinking about maybe doing an episode two where what we do is we just go around and randomly loot places, you know, without doing it as a quest. We might do that too, just for the hell of it. I've, I've done that before, you know, mostly off camera. Um, but... We could do it on camera and have a little bit of fun with it. But uh, right now, I want to continue, you know, looking for for crops. And you know, if we come, if we go by a place that is, I, I know is really easy to get the loot at. You know, like the uh, thing we do the way we're just at there. Here, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Put that there. I want to keep the pick there. We'll put the knife there. Um, anyways, what I was saying, yes, if, if, if we go, come on, gosh, dang it, go by a place that's easy to loot, and I know where the loot is, we'll just run in there, shit, really quick. I really, the thing I hate about this biome, though, is you can't see anything, it's just so smoky. It's definitely appropriate for the biome, but it does make it hard to see stuff. So we're just going to kind of follow the the road around the city here, looking for crops, that sort of thing. Maybe we'll attract a couple of buzzards so we can get the stuff from them. Let's take a look and see where we're at. Okay, so we're heading south along the outer perimeter of the town here. Hey, look at that. We found the other trader. It's another Trader Joel's. We have three Trader Joel's in this map. All right. Well, that's good to know. Let's get away from this goofball. Sucks that the trader's way the hell out here in this burnt forest biome, though. It's a long ways to go. We probably won't operate out of here very much, except for unless we're looking for something specific that the other four traders don't have, just because this is so damn far away. But anyway, let's get it marked on the thing here. So. Okay, cool. Um, this is a pretty quick and easy place to loot. Just have to dig down and get the stuff uh, from underneath here. It's right on the edge of the trader's 
uh, place. Those will be worth some some bank. Um, this we're just going to scrap because it's not worth fixing up and selling. Uh, let's take the stuff off of here and scrap a doodle that. And then uh, I guess we can hang on to those. <coughs> Excuse me. Gesundheit. Ah, we can't <laughs> we can't break anything. Man, we were lucky lucky we were able to even get down here. Okay, well, okay, that was a little odd, but it's just because it's so close to the trader. Okay, so let's see. Let's just keep looking around for farms here. Buddy's grain. That doesn't have any f crop plants that I'm aware of. Are we all the way on the far end of the town? Oh no, we're still going. We're still going along. The oh shit! <laughs> that scared me. The southern end of the town. I did not see that bear until he started swiping. It scared me. It scared me. This is a nasty place, man. I'll tell you what. It is a nasty place. Especially at nighttime. Why in the hell are we even over here at nighttime? What's the matter with us? You guys are going, uh, who's us? It's you, old guy. You're the one that uh, is a little touched in the head, pal. All right, here. Let's fat loots this place, too. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. I'll keep those things for now, but we might end up getting rid of them later if uh, we start having space issues. All that stuff. Ronnie McDonnie. You follow us for a long ways. They'll do that. If you run them over or hit them, then they aggro on you for a long time. Okay, let's see. We'll put those in there too. That's another thing we can toss later if we start getting desperate for space, which we inevitably will, because that's what happens in this game, right? Okay, so let's get the secret stash up here first. Where is... Oh, shit. Did I put my pick... Damn it. I put my pick in the truck, didn't I? Didn't we just buy that stupid grenade schematic in the last episode? I think we did. Figures, huh? Okay, so... Let's just pop that. Here, let's get our pick, too. Because we're going to want it. That's pretty nice. Another secret stash there. And uh, let's see what's in here. All right. We can hit the garbages. I can't be um, too terribly picky or we're never going to get anywhere. I mean, there's a hundred places we could go do this to, you know. Okay, let's keep on looking for crops. <laughs> Gotta do the waterworks. Is this better than my green knife? It is not in any of the ways that it counts, so we can scrap that. Oh, is this pistol better than our greenie? It's got three more range damage. But it's inferior in every other way. Does that matter? One less magazine size, 
a little slower, a little less range, but three more damage. Yeah. Uh, and another mod slot, too, for that matter. I think that's a good trade-off. Okay, cool. We we're gonna loot this place, right? Let's see if we can be somewhat quiet here. I just don't have any pistol skill, that's why it takes so many shots. Okay, he's gonna need something a little more substantial. Gonna say, is that gonna get somebody else's attention? Usually does. We have two skill points to spend. We gotta look at those, huh? Are we clear? I think so. What do we got in here? I think we're good. That's a nice find. A motor, a bellows, and a steel pickaxe, which we are going to scrap for the parts. And let's open this guy up. All right, what do we have? Oh, nice. We already have one of those, but we'll compare and see if the other one we have is better. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Buzz off, zombie. There's another uh, coal mine, but Let's just get, let's just get, let's just get going or we're going to spend all day here. Okay, so we're at the far end of town, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go up this road. I wonder if we could even just look. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit too hard to tell by just looking at the map. At least for me it is. Okay, this one's too easy to pass up as well. <laughs> oh wait, that's the bear den. Never mind. I thought that was the pawn shop. Pawn shop is just ridiculously easy to loot. Bear den's not too hard either, but it's a little more effort. But I want to. I don't want to spend that much effort. Bells isn't too hard to do. One more section to go up here. Shotgun Messiah and another bar. Hungry. Oh. You know what? We don't have a lot of food on us. We don't. Let's eat that. Throw down one of those, too. <laughs> I don't want to eat recipe food. 
I don't know that tune is used for anything. It might be, but I sure wish it would tell us that, you know? We'll just eat all of this stuff because I don't think any of this is used in recipes. If it is, well, let me know in the comments because as of right now, I don't think that it is. Chicken ration, not sure about that. I, I think the beef ration is needed for spaghetti. Not sure about the chicken ration uh, or the lamb for that matter. Uh, but let's see how well that tides us over for now and then um, um, go from there. Yeah. Probably should have brought some food with me, huh? I wasn't thinking about that. Obviously. Okay, so let's see. We came in that way. Um, this is the main highway going out of town, so let's just go straight down the middle here. If I don't see anything, then we'll just hit this highway and keep keep going. All right? Yeah, so we want to go west and then follow the highway around. This really isn't a good place to be doing this any, anyways, because we just can't see anything. But it was good that we came over here, because we found the other trader, and, you know, we got a couple of decent pieces of loot, so it wasn't wasn't a waste of time by any stretch of the imagination. Sure are a lot of bears here. One of you guys was telling me to come out here and lay a bunch of spikes down and then, you know, draw the bears over them when I was still looking for the spoiled meat. And that's not a bad not a bad suggestion. We might do that in the future. So hopefully this highway will get us out of the damn burn biome fairly soon. We're either going to run into snow or we're going to run into wasteland in the south. Between the two, I'd prefer the snow, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Maybe we'll luck out and we'll come across a farm too as we go down this highway with some more corn. We don't really... I don't think we need any more corn. I think we probably have enough. I mean, I need to go back home and make seeds first to make sure, but um, I'm pretty sure we have enough corn now. It's, it's really potatoes that I need more than anything. appear that this is the end of this part of the main highway because everything turns into smaller streets at this point so that that was probably just a little leg going off uh, into this town here so let's go back and continue down the main road All 
Alright, well, we're back in the forest. But uh, definitely further south than we've been before. St there's still a long ways to go south, though. Hopefully we'll find a, a highway that'll do that. See, this damn thing's heading north again. That's not what we want to do. Yeah, let's just see what it does. It's probably just doing this like little loop thing that it tends to do here in Alpha 19. Instead of going straight through a town, it loops around. Oh, well that's the end of the the big road then, eh? There's one here though that looks like it goes south. Uh, the question is, can we get over there without going cross country? Not sure about that. There's some corn up there. Might as well grab it. Got another 81 corn out of that deal. Yeah, we definitely have enough corn for the garden now, and then some. <laughs> That's a good, good deal, though. <coughs> well, shoot. I don't see uh, any obvious way over to here. So I guess we're just going to have to cut across country. Hopefully we'll get into really nasty terrain. I mean, it's nice and flat right here, but that could change. We found another trader, you guys. Oh my goodness. Trader Jin. Um, she's going to open up in five minutes, too. Check that out. Okay, we'll take it. I wonder which one um, the, you know, the Tier 5 quest chain will send us to. Hopefully this one and not the one out in the damn burn biome. Because, I mean, this one's not super far. Well, it's still kind of far away. I was thinking that I don't really like the map arrangement in Alpha 19. It's convenient, but it's also predictable. You pretty much know that the forest is in the center and all the other biomes are along the perimeter. And I don't know, it just kind of removes the exploration incentive to go find where the forest biome is and also the fact that, you know, different maps will be different so yeah can't say that I approve of the of those changes I am so glad to see your face I get uh, lonely sitting by myself all day. I bet you are lonely you're the first person I've seen since the apocalypse started uh, I don't know that okay let's see check your inventory I just want to see what she has sniper point seven weighted head shotgun beside we've got all of that Shotgun parts. Let's get, look at her main inventory. Got a beaker, but we don't really need a beaker. Let's buy that. I the money's in the in the Jeep, so we gotta go back and get it. She's got a couple sham chowders too. Don't okay. let a zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. <laughs> okay. Let's grab... Well, actually, let, we could even just sell a few things to her. Okay. Oh, going to the wrong place. But since we're here, we might as well look. Can we sell those? Yeah, might as well, right? Sell her own stuff to her. Let's check this while we're over here, too. Yeah, I guess we'll take 22 on better.
Okay. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? Oh, I get bit all the time. I think that's everything we want to sell, right? Okay. Did she have... Yeah, we wanted to buy the meat stew. And I wanted to buy uh, the sham chowders. Just because we didn't bring any food with us to speak of. And I think that's it. Thanks for okay. the business. You're welcome, Jim. We're open from dawn to dusk. Glad I found you. You know, we don't have clocks. You don't have clocks, that's right. I want to buy that, and I want to buy those. Don't care about the rest of that. Might as well sell that to her, too. I hope you get feeling better. She's so nice. Okay. Let us continue on here. So we lost our highway again. I mean, there is this one here, though, so hopefully it'll pick up and continue going uh, to the south. So I'm just kind of keeping my eyes peeled for a potato patch. They're very rare. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I didn't check to see if she had potato seeds or potatoes. I was not looking specifically for that, so I'm going to go back and check. You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. You think so? Um, yeah, she doesn't have any, right? Potato, no. Okay. Uh, Poppin' pills might have what you were looking for. Poppin' pills? <laughs> Getting kind of low on gasoline. I should have brought a little more with me. That and food, man. I left the gas and food. Can't take me anywhere. Let's go run up here really quick. Just look at the potato patches. That looks like a new PO. I don't know if I've ever done that one before. That looks new too. What's that? Blueberries and goldenrod. Don't really need those per se. We don't we don't have a full row of goldenrod yet, but I mean, goldenrod's so easy to obtain. I just need to go out and do it. Okay, so it looks like we're on the north end of this town, and we're on the big highway again. <laughs> Crops in this greenhouse place? I can't remember. Let's just hop in there really quick and take a look-see. Edgar's going to be coming. Edgar and Steve. Can we one-shot this fatso? Well, not if we swing too soon. We can burn his ass. And everything else. His ass and his head and his arms. Our crops in here. Okay. I mean, you know, greenhouse, right? Kind of makes sense. It's just a question of what kind of crops. Yeah, there's potatoes. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, might as well grab them all, but the potatoes are the main thing. Main reason why we came in here. We don't need aloe. We got a full row of aloe. Easy. <laughs> I 
the reach on this knife is not so great. Plus, I have no skills in knives. We have skills in sledgehammers, though. We got a nurse dancing and something else there. Corn and yucca. I think there might be something up on that. Nobody in there. One stupid thing of lead. There's three uh, radiators there. Let's grab this. Whoa, look at that. Nice, sticky grenade. Okay, can we walk across here without something bad happening? It looks like we can. Can't get in there. All yeah, right, well, let's uh, grab this. Oh, there's glass there. Man, I couldn't see it. Okay, what do we got? Dog food is good. We need that for Grandpa's learning elixir. And the fat loots. Okay. Alright, well, we found a few more potatoes. Um, always a good thing. I wish there would have been more than that in there, but I don't, I don't care about that dumb backpack. Who cares, man? Who cares? Glass? Yep. Can't even see it. All right. Well, guys, <clears throat> excuse me. We are out of time, so I'm going to have to let you go. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. Where did I park? Right there. So let's kind of assess what's going on here. We need to eat, too, so let's eat this meat stew right now. Okay, so we are... I mean, there's still a lot of land uh, to the south of us. In fact, we're... we're this, this is actually the border, north and south border right here. We're, we're not even in the southern part of the map at all. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be a huge wasteland and a huge snow biome down here somewhere my guess is that the wasteland will probably be to the southwest and the snow to the southeast though of course you know i don't know that for sure i'm just kind of basing that off of where the burned biome is so uh what what day is it too by the way oh we got horde night coming tomorrow of course we're ready for horde night we might need to make a little bit more ammunition so i might go ahead and just head back to the base um and you know make our our new shiny auger and maybe get started on the permanent horde base uh we won't definitely won't have it done you know by by horde 42 and i wasn't planning on it anyways but we could get it started anyway now that we have the auger 
It's going to involve a significant amount of digging. Just trying to see if I can see off in the distance there what kind of biome might be out that way. It's probably a little too far anyways, for, for you know, render distance wise. So, yeah, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, the next episode will probably be a casual construction episode, I think, uh, where we'll continue, you know, working on the uh, the house. I want to get the, you know, the upper floor finished and or, you know, um, getting started with the, the new horde base. Maybe a little of both. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, nice.